Hi, it's Cam here. Hey, there's a new study that reveals mRNA vaccines actually lead to seven to eight times higher spontaneous abortion incidences than originally cited. It seems that the news for those who trusted the rhetoric on injections seems to be getting worse every day. A November study in the journal Vaccines now being widely cited is titled Maternal COVID-19 Vaccination and its Potential Impact on Fetal and Neonatal Development. The study reanalyzed the data used by the original study that justified mRNA vaccines for pregnant women. And you won't believe it, but it's been discovered that some errors had been made. Seems to be a regular occurrence on this stuff lately. According to the researchers, a widely cited preliminary study of the vSafe and Vaccine Adverse Reporting System, VAERS, data suggested that the COVID-19 mRNA vaccines were safe for pregnant women. However, errors were found in their analysis, and a follow-up reanalysis of the data revealed a cumulative incidence of spontaneous abortions of seven to eight times higher than the original author's calculations, which was statistically higher than the typical average for pregnancy loss during the equivalent time period. Sadly, this is one of those bittersweet moments for me. While I'm glad that the truth is finally coming out and those of us who had safety concerns about these drugs are being vindicated, I'm saddened at the fact that it's at the expense of pregnant women, some of whom are going to be robbed of the joy of motherhood. If there ever was a case for a class action lawsuit, this has to be it. And I hope if and when it comes to fruition, those responsible are left broke, both financially and reputationally. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. Please uh, post any comments you might have or any future uh, topics or things you'd like me to cover off. You can always follow me on Locals as well and Rumble. Uh, so thanks once again for checking out this video. I will see you next time.